Okay. Hello everybody, welcome back to another play view. I mentioned I might be doing this one in a previous video. Today we're going to be playing the convenience store. This is one of several Chiller's Art games that I do want to get to eventually, but as far as I understand, they're all quite similar in terms of how they're visually presented and their structure, so we're going to be doing smatterings of Chiller's Art games here and there as the channel progresses. But the one I want to start with is actually a game I played... I played the first 15 minutes of this, I think, a year and a half ago, so... It's been a while, I don't really remember very much of it, so I wanted to pick up from where I left off and at least start with this one. So, let's jump in. It's time. Need to get ready for work. Okay. Pretty standard. Yes. Yeah, so, ooh. Slept well. Yeah, so again, we're going to, as we've seen a fair few times on the channel, we're looking at another sort of haunted PS1 style thing. Although I would argue that this one is certainly a bit more modern. It seems to be going for the VHS aesthetic, with the actual visuals being a bit more developed compared to PS1 stuff. I guess you could call this more of the early 2000s. Uh, what's, what's this? It's dark outside. Oh, that's kind of cool how you are, the screen's going up and down as you're walking. It's not just a straight glide. It's quite a nice touch, actually. Puts you more into the realism of walking, because that, that is what you would do. Okay. Do we have to do anything else, or do we just have to leave? Ooh, hey. Let's, let's eat some food. Microwave? Ah, right here. No, eat it cold. So it's a late job, almost midnight, and the apartment, you can see like mold and shit, so definitely someone working to more limited means. Kind of cute. Come on. There we go. Yes, I would like to eat the bento. Mmm, yummy. Okay. Oh yeah, even the menu is like something straight out of a, a VHS TV. That's fun. Okay, so I think that's everything. So... Okay, gotta bring the flashlight. Is that it? Pick up flashlight. Yes, please. I can't go in here. So it's communal communal toilet and communal wash stations and stuff like that, so... Well, it might be a flat, actually, but let's go. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, the walking is... It, it takes a bit of getting used to. Hi. Right. There we go. Gotta make sure you close your door. Okay, so I can... I can't run, but I can walk a bit faster, so... So yeah, right away, I am really loving this from a visual point of view. Like, this, this to me... I can switch off my flashlight. This to me, 
I mean, if you were filming with a VHS camera in Japan at night, this is probably not far off what it would actually look like, just to, just because of the low res quality of the camera. Oh, that's broken. Okay. Uh, some steps. Here we go. So I guess we're just making our way. Making our way downtown. So in my very brief memory of this, I remember getting to the store and I think I did the first night, but I'm going to be honest, I don't really remember anything. Although I do remember getting lost and it would appear that I'm going to be getting lost again because the first time I found the store, it took me like 10 minutes walking around trying to find the damn thing. Which I'm sure, ah, I think this is it, which I'm sure speaks volumes for my sense of direction as a human being. Here we go. So we sh we did the Shadow Over Route 80, which I think came out after this. But while I was playing that, I definitely felt a sense of... Ooh. Yeah, I definitely felt a sense of similarity in that. I wouldn't have been surprised if the developer at least saw some of this and was like, hey, we should make a game like that. Yeah, again. Environmental design is nice. This shelf looks fine. Oh, I, I'm just walking around checking stuff. Okay. Looks like some are expired. Take items off the shelf. Yes. Okay. Hey. Enter counter. Oh, what am I doing with this? I've just picked up this bag and... <laughs> now I'm, uh... I'll, I'll get to you in a minute. But yeah, I know I'm a bit of a sucker for the, you know, the Horn of Pierce one shit and this sort of game. I really, I can't help it. I enjoy a retro aesthetic. Can I throw it in this bin, please? Yes. Because we're not going to eat it. There we go. See, I haven't even started my shift and I'm already doing things. That's how good of a worker I am. I can't run now though. Hey buddy. <laughs> He's got such a goofy face. Oh god, you made it. Hmm? Oh no, it's just that I recently heard that someone had fallen off the bridge you just crossed. There was an old lady that said there was a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. He probably wasn't walking then. Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. <laughs> yeah, you're hilarious, buddy. Uh, I guess I have to clock in. Yeah. Use CCTV. Oh. Oh, one of these games, eh? Oh, I can move it around a little bit as well. Not a lot, but... Okay. Uh, do I have a, like, a punch card or something? Um, excuse me, where do I, 
How do I... Ah, okay. I think some food expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me? Your manager. A nameless entity that rules my li Oh, okay, bye. But yeah, I mean, as, as I'm sure it's becoming... Yeah, see you later, buddy. As I'm sure it's becoming more and more obvious from the more of these I do, I am a real sucker for the whole PS1 retro vibe thing. I I can't help it. The PlayStation 1 era is my favorite era of games, even though a lot of my favorite games come from the PlayStation 2 era. Hey, how's it going? You, you are walking very, very slowly. But even the, like, even the, the PlayStation 2 era has probably my favorite games. I mean, I, I can't, I don't have to tell you which of those it is. The video kind of speaks for itself. God, he's, he's like walking in the, like he's in a music video. Hello. There we go. Um, I just love the, I love how wacky and just how the developers of the PlayStation 1 era, it feels like the perfect blend of AAA motivations versus wanting to do something that feels either artistic or just wanting to experiment and have fun with the medium. Because not only is the era, uh, hey, I ring it up. Thank you. Come again. Like not only is the PlayStation One era the era in which we got hugely influential titles like Final Fantasy VII and you know Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, and it, there's just so many that you can reel off. But then you also get real oddities like Cooler World, a, a game where you play as a beach ball. On the one hand, you're going through puzzle levels, and on the other hand, you have to avoid getting spiked by physical spikes and taking drugs that give you a trippy, god only knows visual. And, and this is a game that's released in the 90s where, it, you know, this isn't just an indie thing that gets thrown up on Itch or Steam or GOG or whatever. It's, it's a game that's released during a time where everything had to be invested in and there had to be budgetary constrictions and physically manufactured on a large scale in order to reap profits. I, I just think the PlayStation 1 is such a great, strange era of gaming and it's... I'm going to stop rambling about it now, but that's a huge reason as to why I really, really love playing stuff that reminds me of that feeling. That feeling of anything goes at a time where AAA corporations maybe weren't always thinking about the money and were willing to just invest in a stupid idea. Like, there's a game called RC Helicopter where you just go through the game as an RC helicopter, and sure, that's a game that was made 100% as a promotional tool. But it's the fact that it got made, I just, I love how ludicrous that is. Hey. Okay, so we had the door open and close a couple of times, just randomly. Hello. It's kind of late for a delivery man this time, huh? We've recently incorporated the system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to the store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. I think this is for you. Uh... Take it home? Okay. Oh, is that it? I just took the package home? What was in the... Uh, I didn't put that on. 
VHS tape. I didn't put that on. And I shouldn't have left these doors open because now I'm thinking, hey, there's a spooky thing that opened them and that was me. Uh, okay, so I wasn't expecting the first day to end that abruptly, but okay. Okay, uh, oh, there's nothing in there. Well, that ghost is a thorough waste of electricity. Because I'm assuming it's a ghost. How could it not be? Watch closely. Sure. Okay. Can I watch it again? No. Well, that didn't tell me a lot. See, I didn't pick up any food, so I guess I'm just going back. It's the same time again. I gotta go, I gotta go to work. Grab the torch. Okay. Oh, first night. Okay. Door's kind of hard to shut. There we go. So I think I now remember the way. Although, I'm no it's a lot less lit up now. Jesus, it's so dark. At least I know where I'm going. Hola. Okay. See, I can actually do things while he's here. I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. The first person to see this note has to get rid of the rodents ASAP, your manager. Well, he's still here, and I don't think scary stuff is going to happen while he's here. Let's just see if we can let's see if we can do stuff while he's still present. Rat spray. Okay. Yep, killing some rats. And we can do it while he's still there. Might as well. He clearly didn't bother to read that note. Or if he did, he just ignored it. So he might as well wait. Because he's ignored his part of the job. So, fuck that guy. He can stay there and wait for me to do this. There we go. Again, I can't run while I'm in here. <sighs> See, if you'd just done it yourself, you wouldn't be standing there like a dumbass. I could have let you go home, but... Hey, hey, so I heard you reported that the doors would open on their own. They did. Well, we got a guy to check the sensor, and it seems like the wirings were loose. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? I see those on TV all the time, but they're scripted. <laughs> Ghosts aren't real, after all. Okay, you can now go home. Thank you for waiting while I dealt with the rats. Uh, is there anything else I need to do? Nope, I killed them your manager. So I guess I will just wait here and let our esteemed clientele enter the store. Ah.
I must say, I'm very much enjoying the music. Okay, so, yeah, he's off. See you later. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna wait here, because... I don't have any other instructions. Oh. Hey, man. Oh, no, it's a lady. I, I apologize. Oh, those doors just closed in on her. Oh, uh, no. Wait, what? Maybe I saw that wrong, or it bugged out? I don't know. Can I offer her help? I feel like this is something I should be doing. This poor woman. Can I help you? Oh no, she's like glitching through the thing. Is that my fault? Did I push her into that? I know, I think it's just... I think it's just not incredible programming. Oh, are you, are you using this? Okay, here you go. Oh, it's... Oh, I can't open it. Is it because she's going in there and I can't open it? It opened on its own? Or it's just meant to be that she opened it? And it looks weird because I'm, I'm watching an old lady go to the loo? I don't know. So what am I doing? Because I'm kind of just standing around like a dog. Some of this floor is gross. Is, is that just scratched or am I meant to be cleaning it? I don't know. Oh, there's someone else here. Please come on in. That lady is still in there. I'm gonna wait for this guy. Ugh, man's got swag. Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigars? Hurry up. You, sir, are why I hate working customer service. <sighs> yep. Yeah, unfortunately I've spent a large amount of my professional life dealing with people like this and... It's not fun. It's really not. Have have greater respect for customer service agents, please. Because they are human beings and they do not deserve to be treated like shit. For the record on what I was saying, I don't actually work in a shop. I used to, but it's been about five, six years since I worked in retail. But that was enough. Honestly, I did four or five years of it, and every day, without fail, you would get someone like this. Here you go. You're welcome. That lady has been in the bathroom an awful long time. I think I have to check in on her. We're gonna go make sure that she's okay. Oh, oh Jesus. Okay, hey. Uh, right, I'll go back behind the counter and then shall I? I think I'm literally just waiting for her. Oh, she's just stood there. Okay. Sorry. How can I be of assistance? Huh. Huh? Where's Kenken? You know where Kenken is. I thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you?
Oh god, I wasn't expecting that to... Let's put that down, shall we? Okay. Uh, spooky automated toilet. Okay. So, I mean, the game itself is definitely capturing the spirit of a mundane day-to-day -day job, to which all my fellow retail workers, we do humbly thank you. I'm just going to use this period of downtime to say that, because not enough people say it. We appreciate you. Okay. The guy said it was just wiring. I'm gonna just... I'm betting if I look at the camera, this is where we... We now see our first spooky... So let's... Let's have a gander. Oh, there's a kid. Little bastard. Excuse me. Do you mind? Hello. Good to see you again. Oh, you, oh, you know, the unstoppable trend of ordering everything online. Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. Uh. Ah, there is. Here you go, sir. Take... Take your package. Okay. There's a lot of waiting in this game. Which again, I... It definitely replicates the mundane day-to-day -day life of working in a convenience store. Oh, okay. Second night. Okay. No bento for me. I guess I'm just gonna... I guess I'm just gonna keep going. Uh, get umbrella. Yes, please. Oh. Someone's at my door. Hola. Oh. Let me guess. Another tape? Yep. Come on then. So I'm clearly being stalked by someone. Okay. Sure. Oh, that's kind of adorable. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. Ghost. I am now off to work. So overall, I think the atmosphere of this is nice. I think it's effective. I don't have anything mega complimentary to say about it, but I'm enjoying it. 
I... I like what it's trying to do. Oh. Where's... Where's my dude? Oh, the music's different. Who changed my music? Ah, hello. You're a fucker. Okay, okay, fine, I'll stop. I promise I won't do it again. You better not. For that, I'm not gonna... Some products are missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelves full, that's our motto. So please restock them by tomorrow morning. Your manager. Okay, well, seeing as you were a dick, you can stand there and wait for me to restock everything. I'm not clocking in. I'm not clocking in until I've done the restocking. You can fucking wait. Uh, here? No. What are these noodles? Crisps? Which one is it? What the? Ah, yes. Okay, what's next? So we got some frozen stuff from the looks of things. There we go. Wait, did he just leave? Oh, I'm stuck. Uh, my dude. Do you mind? Well, my guy is still there. Hello? Well, I hope you're serving the customer, because I'm not. Do you think he left? I, you know, if I get locked in there, I kind of need you to help me out. Oh, hey. I like how I can just keep my guy on a leash. <laughs> He's just there. Ah, uh, these here. Yes, okay. I don't... Is this... Is this like a bug then? Because he's just there. I haven't clocked in. He's just still... He's still there. I think it, it must be a bug or something. I'm Hamada. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning? Your boss seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh. Hate to be working this late, but he pays me well, as you know. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and then head straight out. Okay. What? Someone's been sending you VHS tapes. That sounds like a perfect idea for a horror flick. Hmm, it's probably just a prank. I doubt it's anything. I mean, come on, it's just a video. Again? For your attitude, you can stay there. I feel like you're not taking the situation seriously. I got locked in here, and you... You act like it's a normal day-to-day -day thing. Magazines. Okay. And they're here? Or here? Or here? Or are these not magazines? I won't lie, I'm kind of struggling to tell what the hell it is that I'm... Ah, okay, there we go. Like, for one, I don't live in Japan, and two, I don't read kanji, so... that That's hindering my ability somewhat. Is that it? Am I done with the restocking? I guess it is. I haven't checked the bathroom in a while. There's nothing in there. Ah, very kawaii. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay, well, I guess I have to let him go now. But what if I don't? What if I just keep him... Keep him there? Because, you know, if I get attacked... Not that he was of massive use when it came to... Oh. Okay. Open AC. There's a key. I've got the key. I've got the secrets. Oh, I just dropped it on the floor. At least it glows. Hey. You look horrifying. Hey, my dude. I got a key. You're useless to me. Uh, oh, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, I guess we'll put it in this basket. There we go. Hey, are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of manager puts a girl on a midnight shift alone? I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. <laughs> He's just right there. I... <laughs> It's kind of hard to take it seriously when I can just keep him <laughs> hanging around. <laughs> I'm just keeping him there. Why not? The game allows me to. I might as well. Where's the guy who was working on the AC ducks? Okay. Uh, I haven't checked these for a while. Oh, someone ripped through the thing. Okay. Um, oh god, hello, I merged with you. What can a videotape do to you? Well, I'm now going outside to investigate that damage. If you wouldn't mind watching the store and maybe being of use, that'd be great. So yeah, overall, ooh, spooky. Oh, is this is this where we look and see a ghost? I'm waiting for the moment where we get jump scare on the the screen. It has to happen eventually. Okay. Well, fine. I'm just gonna shut that. Don't need to worry about no ghost. Just gonna leave him. He needs the loo. I mean, everybody's got needs. Okay, time to investigate a spooky shrine, I guess. The door is unlocked. However, my arm goes numb when I try to open it. It feels as though something is grabbing me. I can't open it. I 
I can't open it. Okay, where's my dude? Can he... Can he be of help? Not that he's really been useful in... In any regard. Okay. Just gonna ignore the spooky... The spooky toilet. So I can't open that thing. Hey, buddy. <laughs> okay, so now that I've put the key in the thing, is this now where we get the jump scare? It has to happen. Hmm. Do you know what's supposed to happen? Do I have to get rid of you for the game to progress? Is this is this what this is? Or is this one of those walk into the bathroom and the door closes, you get locked in scares? Yep. Ah, it's one of those. That's rude. Excuse me. He's... He, he's right there. Dude, you're fucking useless. Right, now comes the jump scare. Yeah. She broke my camera. What a bitch. My manager is gonna... Did you close that? Did you fucking close that? I, I love... The... <laughs> I realize I might be spoiling the immersion a little bit, but I'm having fun. And I love that you can just keep him here while everything's happening. Pick up talismans. Ooh. So is this where I now go back to the thing and I can go in there? Exercise the door. Oh, Is that the same guy? He's the same guy. <laughs> oh, wait. So... Oh, I can't get out. Four. Oh, it's all the dead rats and everything. Well, I can't open it. Oh, he moved. He's looking at me. Hey, buddy. Do you know what's happening? Because I don't. As if it ended there. Uh, I guess I can't do anything. What a nightmare. Was it all a dream? Maybe. I if I go back, is my guy still going to be there? Oh, okay. I can't leave. Very spooky uwuki. Oh. This is open. I don't think it was open before.
I can't seem to... Oh. Okay. It's the, uh, the door of the shrine, I think. Okie dokie. Let's -a go. After all, just like the shadow over Route 80, I need this job. And absolutely, it is totally reasonable to keep going back when I'm being possessed and attacked by demons. Is my guy still there? Nope. Might as well check the CCTV. Probably gonna be a ghost. Nope. No ghosts for me. I can't even punch in. Oh, hey. That's cool. I wasn't expecting that. Am I locked in now? Yeah. And everything's... Oh, it's, everything's being replaced with TVs. This is cool. Can I go back? Oh, it doesn't matter. Cause it's... Okay, spooky ghost on the camera again. I mean, like, loads of them. Oh, hey. There's a, a kid or a woman. One of the two. Hello? Where you at? I have branches and shit on the floor. Turn it on. Oh! Okay. Why can I turn all these on? What? Um... I don't... get it. Is it like a puzzle? Yeah, there's like... the kid or woman again. Oh, so I have to turn on the TVs that he's watching. So that one... And then that one. So, he looks at that one, I think. I think he looks at this one. It's kind of annoying, because there's so many of them. And the cameras aren't amazing in... Oh, is he looking up? He's looking up. He's not looking down. Do I have to get him on every single one? Because it's, it's kind of really hard to tell which one he's going for. He's looking up. Uh, he looks down. It's really hard to tell which one he's actually looking at. Right, so this one... I'm, I'm having to take photos on my phone as reference points, so... This one... 
this middle one. Uh, this one. I think that's it. I think that's the puzzle. Oh, I can't even look at the TV. Uh, I can't even look at it anymore. Oh, I can hear wailing. What is... What is happening? Uh, can I... I can't use that anymore. Okie dokie. Hello. Oh, hey. Oh. Wait, did I die? Is that game over? Oh, no. Okay. Ah, oh, well, at least, you know, they returned it to the how it should be. Oh, I can't go behind there. How much more of this can... Wait, what? Okay. Wait, I can't... Why can't I interact with any of this? Oh, okay. Right, for some reason I dropped it. Wait! Oh, I have a choice. Either I can box it up, watch it, or bin it. Send off to somebody else like a curse. Hmm. You know what? I love the ring, so we're gonna do the old send it off to somebody else. I am very sure. I was sickened by the whole situation, I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clear up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what had happened and why. So I turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location of where the building was made. One comment on a strange forum stood out to me. It said, there seemed to have been some gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments. In 2009, there was a case where a man who was the mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th, the man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was offered to a grocery sh shopping to a local... Uh, when he came back, <laughs> it said that she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on that same day. They said that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nails punctured in onto her along with her child in their stomach. I wanted to throw up from the obscene images, but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work and that he had complained to several colleagues. And on the day of the incident, it said that he had an emotionless face. Imagining what the fucking hell, imagine what they've gone through, depression and hatred occupied my head, it was very painful. With tears in my eyes, I closed the internet and gently and called the manager to talk about everything I experienced during my night shift and what I had discovered. <laughs> Reading this really quickly. 
However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. And then I received a call from Mr. Hoso, the franchise, who something about... I had a bad feeling about it. Then, with a shivering voice, he said, The manager is dead. I couldn't breathe, so it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where it was found... Mr. Hosu said there was an old storage behind the, the convenience store and he was found there a day after a day of his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store wherever I could because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stab towards me and I wouldn't be able to help but try to pass as quickly as possible so as to not look at the building. A day later, it closed down. The reason seems to be poor management, but further details were not publicized. At that point, I didn't have the means or courage to examine it anymore. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day, I passed by the now closed down store, and I heard a child's voice. There, I saw the woman. When I looked at my hand, I had picked up one of the rusted nails that had fallen in the middle of the site. Okay, so, is it over? Okay, it's over. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of reading, very quickly. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, that was the convenience store by Chiller's Art, as, as we can see. It was okay. I enjoy Chiller's Art games for what they are, and... I thought it was alright. I don't think it was anything spectacular, but at the same time, I appreciate it for what it was. It was going for, you know, the spooky atmos and everything, and I, I don't think it was anything to scream about, but at the end of the day, Chiller's art games tend to go on sale a lot, so if you are interested in playing it, I mean, there's going to be plenty of opportunities to play it on sale, so I think I bought this for like two quid. So I liked it. It was okay. Nothing to scream about. It was alright. So yeah, that's it from me on this one. As always, thanks ever so much to my top patron supporters, Game Master, Dark Raptor 86, BFD Survivor, and Shkotsky. Thank you everybody for watching, and I will see you next time.